What's up everyone, John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. We are at the dawn of the Surface Pro 2 and Windows 8.1 make its commercial release. So I thought it was time to revisit the original combo of the Surface Pro and Windows 8. And I got a lot more to say about it. Let's go ahead and get started. impressions of the Surface, Surface RT, and Windows 8 were overall not very good. I thought it was crazy hard to learn. The live tiles I thought worked on a phone but didn't necessarily translate to a computer. And I didn't understand how everything worked, where to swipe, where to not swipe, how to make things work. It just seemed like a total convoluted mess to me. However, I reserve the right to change my mind. And as a journalist, I feel I've got the right to change my mind when I use a product for a longer period of time. Usually we use products for one to two weeks from a review and then it goes and sits in a drawer. Not so with the Surface Pro. So let me give you a bit of a backstory. About six weeks ago, it was a weekend, it was a Saturday afternoon, I was sitting at home and I had to do some updates on Techno, but I went to fire on my MacBook Pro and was having some issues and wouldn't turn on. So I went to the only other computer I have in my house, the Surface Pro that I had not used since probably about a year ago, and I forced myself to learn how to use it. And that's where I started to see the beauty and the elegance of Windows 8. It took me a crazy amount of time, probably about 10 days to really go through it, force myself how to use, force myself to use it and learn it. So I really started to enjoy what it does. So without an update my review, it's not really a Surface Pro review or Windows 8 review, more of an update of the combo. And you can extrapolate what works for Windows 8 devices in general and what's unique just to the Surface Pro. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first big issue I had was I had no idea what all the gestures did or how they worked. My big one was in Internet Explorer. Well, now when I fire up Internet Explorer, I know how to use it. So I didn't know where the favorites were gonna go. When you go ahead and open up a browser, the favorites pin themselves all the way over to the right. If you swipe on over, you can see them. I've got a demo account here, so you can't see all the other sites I've used. That was sort of the first thing that I didn't know. I discovered that it became very easy. Also, I had preconceived notions about Internet Explorer, like probably a lot of you do. I didn't want to use Internet Explorer, but the more I used it, at least on the modern UI side, the more I enjoyed it. It's a pretty elegant um, browser and it worked very well. The tabs, it didn't make sense to me how the tabs work. Now I clearly realize you swipe down, all your tabs are there. You can select the one that you want or move over, select it, or deselect it, close it, whatever you want, all your options are right there. Uh, I was very convoluted how to go and change settings. Now it's very easy. Go ahead into settings. You can jump into my change PC settings. You can access everything that you want right there. I also had issues here with how the touch cover worked, and that's sort of still maintained. It's not very accurate. If I go ahead and hit the letters, they don't always translate very well. I gotta go back and edit and delete. But I do think though, the combination of the touch cover and the Surface Pro is a really nice combination. I find myself sitting on the lap and typing on this and typing out a ton uh, of emails. So I found it actually to be relatively elegant. A couple other things that I really like, and this is where I found the most useful thing about the Surface Pro, is running two apps side by side. Thinking back to my story, so TechnoBuff was having issues, and I, on one window, had to make edits to the site. The other window, I had to check email, and I had to keep going back and forth, having conversations with Editor-in-Chief, Sean Ani, and I couldn't do all that in one window, so I remembered, hey, wait a minute, Windows 8 lets me do that. If you swipe in, you can go ahead and view what you just did last. You can swipe it again and go back out and get a full list of what you're looking at. So let's say I want to go to the store. I could go ahead and browse the store. I have my PC settings here. You know what? I want to make that one window. I could open that right there. I want to go back and say, you know what? Maybe I want to do Internet Explorer and have that open and go ahead and open that. If I want to go back and have two at the same time, say I want the Surface or the store right there, I can go and have that running side by side to what I'm doing. They both run very independently. Uh, it was actually pretty cool to see. And if you just have one open, for example, if you want to close that one out, you drag your finger all the way down, you can go ahead and pick where it opens on the side, and you can open up another application. There's all these sort of little things that took a really long time to learn that I liked. Uh, desktop as well, something that I really enjoyed. I liked that I could access the desktop and still have, like you can see right here, my modern apps open running side by side. That was really useful. I started using Outlook on the desktop side, and still having, having being able to have the modern browser up. That was very nice and a really nice touch. Uh, and I wanted to give Microsoft credit. I felt that it was due to update the review. Uh, the battery life has been actually really awesome on the Surface Pro. I don't do that much on it. I unfortunately only bought the smaller version because I didn't think I was going to use it all that often. Turns out I wish I had more storage. I'd love to keep getting StarCraft on here, all my games, and load up all my emails, sort of use this as almost my dedicated computer. I do most of my editing for Techno Buffalo and Final Cut, so I'm not going to replace my Office iMac, but I can really, really see myself only using this at home. Uh, all those commercials where people talking about using the Surface instead of an iPad, I get now. I like that I can watch Flash video on here. I don't have to worry about opening up an app to watch YouTube. I can go right to YouTube on here. And it just works. The finger sensitivity is awesome. Multi-touch works really well. 
Uh, the Surface Pro is a really solid device. Uh, screen resolution is gorgeous. I'm not recommending picking up a Windows RT because you don't get all sort of the awesomeness and the screen resolution blows, at least as of right now. Uh, but Windows 8 and soon to be Windows 8.1 is a really nice combination. So I thought it was only fair to give Microsoft credit to say, hey, you know what? You guys did a better job than I thought I did. And third, it's only fair to the audience so if I change my mind to share those impressions. So what do you guys think? Have you given Windows 8 a fair shot? I think you gotta give it a good 10 days of really dedicated use to learn how to use it. And that's a huge learning curve. For someone who's willing to give it that time, you really enjoy it. If you're coming from Windows XP and just wanna start using a computer, you're gonna have a really hard time understanding what the heck is going on here. Uh, but after you know my six weeks, I'm gonna continue using the Surface Pro and I'm really excited about the Surface Pro too. Anyway guys, love to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments right down below. Until then, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo and I'll see you in the next video. What's up everyone, it's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.